Now, previously here on Off Topic with John Switzer, we talked about the A-Zub recumbent trikes, and I mentioned that perhaps they were not the most suited version of this trike for our gravel roads because they tend to slip a little bit and they don't quite have the traction, and that really makes the last quarter mile home frustrating and hard to deal with. I also talked about some of the things that I might do different if I were to buy the same trikes over again, or similar trikes, not exactly the same. And today we are going home without the trikes. And while that's a sad thing, it's actually going to be good, but that's a story for another time. Well, that certainly did not go as well as we had planned. Perhaps we were a little bit too overly optimistic, but we did pay a little extra to get that option so the trikes would fold in hopes that we could get them in the back of the little car. But we'll talk about that kind of stuff later. Now, those of you that are new to the channel may be a little confused what I'm even talking about. So there's a video, in fact, it's where that clip from the very beginning of this video came from. And I'll link to it right up here in this corner. And that will sort of explain what's going on. But the short version is that Janet and I have for years owned some A-Zub recumbent trikes. They were the T-Tris model, which is a very simple trike, has normal road tires, all set up for riding on normal streets and roads and things like that. And they were really very nice recumbent trikes, a lot of fun to ride. But since we moved up here to the new house on the end of a steep gravel road, that road is just miserable on those trikes because the back wheels slip a little bit and they just really were not geared as low as we would like to ride that road. So we went to the recumbent trike shop in Colorado Springs, it's Angle Tech, and they really are great people. They worked with us and we talked about what upgrades we could make to those trikes, what we could do to change things. And after doing all that, we decided maybe what we would really like to do is simply upgrade those trikes to trikes that were meant for sort of off-road use or seriously off-road use. Because now we're thinking about expanding what we do with the trikes to some things that are a little bit more adventurous. Several months ago when we started talking about this and made our decision and went to Angle Tech, we had chosen the Tricon GR model, another trike by Azub, and those are their gravel and road trike meant for both road use and gravel road use. It has rear suspension, 26 inch tires all the way around and wider tires. And we were gonna get them with an electric assist motor so that it was easier to ride that last quarter mile. So if you wanted to go out all day long or for a long ride, that last little steep, slippy gravel hill wasn't going to be a deal breaker. But then after going for that ride around Colorado Springs where we got a chance to test drive a few other things and just spend a little bit more time talking about it and thinking about it, we started to have second thoughts on the GR model. Now those are excellent trikes, really good, but our ambition got a little bit higher. Janet has always liked the fat trikes, even though they may not be the most practical for us because we don't always ride on dirt roads, but they'll ride on paved roads just fine. That's just not really what it's meant for. So Janet decided she would rather trade the GR with the rear suspension for the fat trike, which has no suspension. And we'll talk about the specific trikes in another video. And I opted to go with the TIE Fly X, which has full suspension front and rear, 26 inch wheels, 2.8 inch wide tires. I think both of these are gonna be way better for our situation.
And with that, both trikes are now safely home and it's time for us to go for our first ride. So we're gonna go do that and then I'll let you know how it went. Well, this is absolutely everything I hoped it was going to be and probably more than that. It's fun to ride. I was able to pull up that hill with a lot less effort in the highest electric assist setting in fifth gear. Just because there's no more slipping of the back wheel involved, I think I could pull up that hill in first gear with the e-assist turned off and I'm gonna try that. And I've come up it in the normal mode in third gear and really it's gonna make things a lot better. I'm gonna get out and ride a lot more. I've already been up that hill twice today and I'm probably gonna go do it again. And previously one time would have been my limit. I will do a follow-up video on both the Azub TIEFLY X that I'm sitting on and the Azub Fat Trike with the e-assist that Janet's still out riding and who knows when she'll come home, she's having a blast. And those will just be separate videos, so look for those two videos and more trike videos to come because I think we're going to be out on these a lot more, which means there may be fewer videos in the blacksmith shop if you're watching over there. Anyways, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't done so already, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, I'm going back out.